What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at the current coin market cap as well as a couple of, of exchanges in regards to capitalizing off the movements. We're most likely going to be seeing within XRP, Ripple and cryptocurrency very soon. Uh, specifically, as you guys noticed, we did actually manage to break above a fairly strong resistance we've been having on the market right now. We've been in a slow consolidation for quite some time now on the channel, specifically within XRP. And I do want to talk a little bit more about what exactly is happening. The bullish signal surrounding that and how it should lead us to be breaking higher you can see it happening on most of these cryptos we're seeing it on Bitcoin um, Ethereum as well as XRP too we are starting to find some uptrends that uh, do have hold some value so otherwise if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up as this does help out the YouTube algorithm make sure to follow me on Twitter crypto the official this way if you have any questions comments or concerns you can DM me over there otherwise let's jump into today's episode all right, guys, so before I jump into the video, you can see I am on my YouTube channel and you can see yesterday's video, we dis we discussed that there's really nowhere to go for uh, XRP, but upwards. And you can see in the thumbnail pretty much what was drawn and what was explained, how there is some sort of ascending triangle forming on the cryptocurrency. And it looks like XRP is actually starting to hit the bottom. So I do just want to jump straight into the channel, straight into discussing what exactly is happening right now. You can see for the most part, um, crypto is kind of you know stagnant right now. We're seeing a lot of consolidation, a lot of sideways movement. Even XRP is pretty much just flatlining out for the most part. A lot of these coins, I've never even heard of Polkadot. I don't know why that's up there. But a lot of these coins are pretty much just trading sideways. And we're definitely seeing some very interesting movements right now, uh, specifically XRP. Now, I know you guys are pretty much um, I know how the market is. I know how the market sentiment happens. I know how people can become. I, I've definitely been there before when I first started getting into crypto. People become very um, impatient especially when we see the market kind of trade sideways and not really see much movement. But that's usually the best time to be focusing on the market because it usually signals and indicates the biggest, you know, volume spikes and surges like nobody pretty much expected this volume break to happen. But you can see we've pretty much been consolidating in and out of our moving average. And then as we built up some steam and some volume around 50 on the RSI right here, we actually managed to explode up in price and become overbought. Now, who's to say that wouldn't happen right now as we're consolidating? We've pretty much, you know, slowly traded outside of our moving average right here. You can see it very clearly. We've slowly consolidated out of there, just like we did back here. And the fact that we broke above now our moving average does give us some significance of what could be a bullish break to the upside. We also having a bullish cross on the MACD too, which is what we experienced back here when we first saw that break too. So that's something to consider too. We had a break right here at this level and then consolidated right on top of it and then headed up even higher. So who's to say it's not going to happen again? Now, most things are leading towards a bullish break. It leading, uh, it's starting to lead to some sort of significant uh, correction. I mean, we can even see that there's this possibility of resistance here, but I don't believe this is as accurate as one where I do believe we're pretty much capping ourselves at the top here. We could even, you know, make it a little bit lower down here or over here. But ultimately, there is some sort of resistance on this coin. There is some sort of top end, you know, price ceiling that isn't allowing us to break higher, but it's not happening right here. For the most part, this is just normal consolidation. We're not really seeing any sort of resistance necessarily. We are just merely consolidating with the rest of the crypto market. But the fact is we did bottom out. After a very long time, we consolidated from becoming extremely overbought, which was up here, to slowly but surely consolidating lower and lower, lowering ourselves to almost oversold on the market, and pretty much confirming that we do have a bottom support here. We did not break lower. We're actually having higher lows, which is a very, very, very good sign. We're not having lower lows. We did not break uh, below our previous low, which is great. This does show us that there is some sort of uptrend forming, and this does hold some value. So all Although we're not you know exploding up in price almost instantly we are indeed in an uptrend formation and that is something that you guys do have to consider when investing in xrp that it doesn't ha necessarily have to be exploding in price for us to capitalize off of but just to see and acknowledge that there is a pattern forming here an uptrend of certain value it does give us some optim you know some sort of you know 
pattern to follow off of. And the fact that we do have this uptrend forming right now, it does open up some doors to the possibilities of eventually being able to reverse back up and retesting some top resistances that we do have. Now, as I show you guys too, I'm now showing you guys the weekly right here. You can see pretty much what uh, we have an idea of that's forming on the channel right now. You can see we did manage to break above and outside of a massive resistance right here as I slowly extend outwards. It was a massive downtrend, a massive descending triangle. Eventually we broke bullish outside of here, spiraled all the way up to retest this top resistance of this moving average right now. And the fact that we did hit that and started to reject lower, and now we're starting to consolidate and bounce off that, it should open us up to, you know, moving up even higher. So we do have, you know, a confirmation. We do have a support confirmation right here on the weekly. And I wouldn't be surprised within the next couple of days, if not weeks, we end up retesting that top resistance right here. Almost certain that we're going to be doing so as well. We retested it once and now we came back down to create a higher low and there's a very high, good and high chance we're going to be retesting this once again very soon. So 30 cents is definitely a huge possibility that the coin is going to be hitting very soon. And it should be very easy to capitalize off this too. We're looking at things on the on the weekly, you know, long term. It's not going to take a day. It's not going to take a couple hours. But ultimately, with this confirmed uptrend, it does open doors to how we can pretty much capitalize off the market and, and off the movement right now. So we do have Bityard pulled up too, which is a huge exchange that we just started using here on the channel. As you guys know, we've been using um, Dudex, which is also a great exchange for trading Bitcoin. And we've been using Bitcoin for quite some time now. But I noticed um, that it doesn't have as many altcoins, not to say that Dudex isn't a great website. I still do trade on both, but I was looking for how to trade XRP, how to leverage trade it, how to spy long, how to sell short and things of that nature. And then I came across Bityard. So I've actually been using them for quite some time now to trade on XRP. And it actually is extremely well. We've been using this to trade XRP for a couple days now, if not weeks. And we have been getting some very good feedback on the website. So I definitely recommend you guys to check it out. I did post a link in the description of uh, Dudex so def and, and Bityard. So definitely make sure to check these out if you're interested in trading XRP. Make sure to sign up for Bityard completely free and they do offer a sign up bonus. And if you're interested in Bitcoin, I did link Dudex down below and they do offer up to a $70 sign up bonus as well. So clearly we have an uptrend right here. We've been watching this. If you were to buy in closer to, you know, 10,004, sorry, I need to go to XRP. That's what I meant to go on to. So you can see the clear uptrend that's forming right now on the coin. You can see if I just draw this in really quickly something along the lines of this. We do have this uptrend forming. We do have a resistance closer to here where you can see it's actually three points of resistance right here. So let me draw this horizontal line. You can see right now what it is that I'm confirming with you guys. It's much easier to point out here on the channel than, or sorry, on this, on, on, on Bityard than it was to draw on trading view, but you can clearly see we have a triple top right here. One, two, three confirmations of resistance, but we did start to st you know, create a higher low to create an uptrend and the price is slowly, you know, creeping upwards. And the fact that we did hit this bottom here is a huge potential for a long in the market. So it's very easy to set this up. I did link my Patreon in the description down below for how to trade and what my specific trades are. So definitely make sure to check that out. But ultimately, it's very simple. You can literally type in if you wanted to do 240 or let's say 500 right here. I have about, where's my total? I have 497 USDT right there. So it's very easy. We could use 500 right here. I'd be buying 39,000. But with this leverage trade, it allows me to use more marginal value than what I have actually deposited in my balance. So I could easily trade around with even $300 right here or $400. And I can use that by the quantity and actually create a leverage trade by, you know, we're doing 24 times leverage and we just click buy long and it will, you know, go into play. We'll place a position, a live position, and any profit we make heading up to this resistance will be profit. So I do believe we are going to be extended. I am long on XRP right now for quite a bit. Now I do believe we are going to extend back up and retest about 30 cents. So I do think at any one of these points was a great time and great opportunity to be buying in. And I do believe with this XRP point right here, we are going to be extending back up to this top resistance. So definitely uh, make sure to check it out. I know I didn't get involved in the other cryptocurrencies and the S&P 500. We'll save it for another video. But at the moment, the S&P 500 really 
isn't doing anything. I sold off, um, capitalized off this correction to the down uh, to the downside. If I buy in right now, I'll be buying it at better positions. But honestly, I'm getting this weird feeling, this eerie feeling that this is just the start of previous uh, corrections in the past. So the fact that we immediately corrected from this top resistance all the way back down to be being below our 11 year uptrend gives me you know a significant value that we're probably not going to be hanging up here or hanging out at this you know top resistance for that long we're probably going to correct lower so that's pretty much my two cents um litecoin still consolidating getting ready for what could be a big 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 correction to the upside same thing with uh bitcoin we're starting to see an uptrend ethereum is seeing an uptrend as well same thing with xrp but otherwise that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video guys if you are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up Make sure to follow me on Twitter, CryptoVOfficial, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.